The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office spent the morning doing autism awareness training. They met with several people that are on the spectrum, and the goal is for them to better understand one another and to safely de-escalate situations moving forward. Fox 10's Irene Snyder has the story. Getting an up-close look at the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. It's awesome. And it's nice to be able to talk to all the officers and be able to learn more. These men and women visiting the station with the First Place Transition Academy all have autism. For them, interacting with law enforcement can be nerve-wracking. I was feeling anxious about being around all the officers uh, because they're intimidating. But with this program, the goal is to make them more at ease. Getting to see everybody and seeing the horse and I get well the, the helicopter was a oh, kind of an eye opener. This is critically important again for both law enforcement and for our residents who have autism and other neurodiversities. This is really an opportunity for them to engage with each other, to ask questions, to go through these interactive scenarios uh, so that they're more prepared when they're out in the community and they have interactions with law enforcement. Those participating got some hands-on training, meeting MCSO's horses, seeing the helicopter and unmarked cars, even running through a practice traffic stop. So that they feel engaged with us. And the other part of it is if they're in that situation that might feel traumatic, how can they best manage their emotions and we best manage for their needs so that it's a successful outcome. Through this, Sheriff Paul Penzone says they also want to learn how they can better serve those on the spectrum. And we just want to be more versed in, in how to interact, how to de-escalate, how to serve their needs, and to make sure that uh, those who are on the spectrum with autism have a, an understanding of how law enforcement works so we can always de-escalate and manage their needs and keep them safe. Irene Snyder, Fox 10 News.